good morning guys so it's week six of my placement week six day one so we six eventually I'm getting there I'm getting there like I can't wait even though at times I feel like I wish I could get like extra <laughs> extra one year in order to build my confidence and to be like proper proper ready but yeah so almost the God has been faithful another six weeks to go and then it's just a matter of waiting for um, my nursing pain which I believe um, it normally arrives like three weeks after uni sends off all your um, documentation so yeah um, how was your weekend guys how were you guys like it was a very chilled weekend for me because I did step out I did step out until this morning obviously I went to that um, Kiss Daniel's um, concert on, on Friday night I was indoor till about maybe till about one o'clock when I had to go to some grocery shopping I intended going to church but I was so tired like I just want to stay indoor like even I was so prepared to go to church that I already sorted my outfit, what I'm gonna wear, and I was like already preparing. But I woke up that morning and I was just like, nah, I'm not feeling it. I was just no. I just want to stay indoors. So that was what happened. And throughout yesterday, I didn't step out of the house at all. I didn't step out. So this me heading out to placement. I just want to branch at um, Tesco to get some sandwich. I didn't cook over the weekend that's the extent of how tired I was I did not cook at all um, I think I only made this fish sauce which is not gonna lie me the kids are halfway through the soup already anyways and yeah so I didn't cook so I just want to go grab myself a wee sandwich from Tesco good morning guys the, it's week seven week seven day two and you know what guys the <laughs> the rate at which i'm leaving home very early in the morning since last week you guys won't believe it you would think maybe i'm the one that has the key to the hospital gate reason being that along that route to my placement there's a road there's a road work there's been a road work there for the past like since i started my placement so with that there's traffic as it is and now, two weeks ago, I saw a notice saying that they are going to shut one lane. And so if they shut one lane out of two lanes, that means the traffic will be sleeping there in the morning. So it's currently 6.45 right now. And I'm going to head to the shop to buy something for love because, like you guys know, it was my birthday week last week. We were eating out over the weekend. I didn't bother cook, cooking at all. So the kids have been sorting themselves out. And so I'm going to brand to go to Tesco now. And hopefully... I won't stay long before I head <laughs> on my way because as it is now normally the traffic shouldn't be more than like five minutes now it's gonna take me about 15 20 minutes on that road due to that traffic so I'm leaving home very early because I hate being in traffic especially when I know I'm starting work at half seven and I'm sitting at traffic at, at 10 past seven so hence why you know if not I've not even remembered to kind of like bring out my phone to vlog this week at all so like i said earlier on it's week seven and it's day two so last week i had a, a swell birthday i got the present i wanted my daughter had a swell 17 year old 17 birthday as well we went out for lunch on a saturday church on sunday for thanksgiving and then week seven so like i was saying earlier on my week six i met my assessor who signed my first six weeks to say she was happy so she signed my attendance and we've been able to complete some of the um stuff that needed to be completed from my um, paperwork so i'm happy about that so right now i'm just looking forward to the next six weeks and open i get a job before i start i mean before i finish so that's my plan and as it is now i've only just applied through the um, massive recruitment by the two nhs trust so if i'm gonna have to apply to anywhere that i so desire i will have to wait till i get my nmc pin 
because most of the other places that I've seen, they ask that you must be a registered nurse. That is, you must have your NMC pin before you apply for any other job. For any job, so applying through this mass recruitment by the two trusts I've already applied through is a good way to get a job before your pin arrives. So most of them will offer you a band four, and band four will be immediately after I finish my last placement. They want me to start straight away. But um, if they offer me band four, I'll tell them to at least give me three weeks to rest before I eventually start. So my plan is to secure a job before the end of my placement and I'm praying about it. So I'm waiting to hear back about the two interviews. So one of them asked me to send in my details to them like ID just to confirm, passport, birth certificate, proof of ID, proof of NHS number and stuff like that. So NHS number, I mean not NHS number, NI number is like the social security numbers, you know. So I've already sent that away last week. So I mean, they asked me to send that. I think that's a good sign that they are possibly considering my application. So I'm just waiting to hear back. And the other one that I applied for, as you all know, I applied um, for a post in the place where I'm currently on my placement right now. So they told me two weeks. So it's going to be two weeks today. My heart has been big, 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 big. <laughs> because I don't understand why they actually want to kept us waiting for two weeks. Another girl I was talking about last week, I don't know if it was this video or the week before, that she was lucky that she already got a job in the placement where she is right now because our ward manager happens to be one of the person we interviewed her. So because that person is in band seven, they were able to tell her straight away, quickly, not straight away, maybe a few days after that, she did offered a job. So for me, I'm open to hear today or at least before the end of the week. So yeah. Anyway, how have you guys been? How have you been work-wise? And guys, go and get your PVC or well, is that what it's called? If you're in Nigeria, go and get your PVC. It's time that we all open our heads and look at our surroundings before we choose who's going to rule Nigeria for the next four years or possibly the next eight years. Because as it, as it is now, those who are campaigning to become the president, they are not there for nothing. They are not there for anything other than to embezzle for their unborn generation. And I believe most of us, we are, like, we are wide awake. We know what is going on right now. We know how they are suffering the masses. We know how there's no jobs, how universities are, are, are on strike and their own children are all abroad studying without any post to their studies or to their education. So open your eyes well. Don't sell your votes. Don't sell your future for 500 naira or for a bag of rice. Because that bag of rice, you'll finish it. And every time you eat that rice, you're going to be shitting it out of your bum as well. So this is just to say, if you're in Nigeria, sit back home in Nigeria and you see have faith that Nigeria can be great again, you should go out there. If you have a voting age, go out there. Gather your household who have voting age and go get your PVC and vote right. So that's my word today. So I'm at Tesco's. They don't open until 7. It's 5 minutes before 7 o'clock. So I'm going to dash in, dash out and head out. So hopefully there won't be lots of traffic. But if there's lots of traffic, come on, nobody's entering in front of me. You have to join the queue at the back. <laughs> that's the agenda for this morning. So I'll hopefully touch base with you guys later, all right? Have a lovely day, and it's a sunny day here in Glasgow today. You can see the sun reflecting. Mm -hmm. We are getting the better weather soon. Right, I'll see you guys later. So, it's officially week 8 of my placement, and I have another 4 weeks to go. So, this is uh, day 1 of um, week 8, and it feels so surreal. Like, I'm almost, <laughs> I'm almost towards the finish line for this um, placement. As I, if you're just joining me, I'm a final year, um, final year nursing student, and I'm currently in a theater department for my um, management placement. So, so far, it's been going great. And job-wise, um, the first interview I had, I got a response yesterday. So, I've been offered a post. I've been offered a conditional band five post, and I requested for a theater department. So, I was given, I was assigned. To that um, department I wanted, but not the hospital I would have wanted. So in Scotland, we have like variety of NHS trusts. So the job offer I got was from the NHS GGC. So um, and I've been given 48 hours to accept the offer. Fair enough. The hospital is just like 10 minutes away from where I live. However. 
it's really not the hospital I really want to work in. So the second interview I had, which is with another NHS trust, um, I did that interview on the 16th or 18th of May, and I was advised that um, it's going to take two weeks for me to hear back. So it was two weeks last Wednesday, and I've still not heard back. And I was starting to feel like, you know, what's going on? You guys told me two weeks. So yesterday I emailed the recruitment to ask, like, you know, I just want to find out the outcome of the interview and if it was not successful could I possibly get a feedback so um, I did mention in the email to the recruitment that um, I, I was interviewed for so -so, so so department and they got back to me like an hour later saying um, they forwarded my query to the department that is actually recruiting for where I asked to go to so I'm hoping they will get back to me sometime this week and I also asked that is it possible to wait longer than two weeks for to hear a feedback you know stuff like that because like i mentioned there is another girl whom I have, who is in my group at uni and she's on another department like she interviewed the same week that same day that i interviewed that was when she interviewed and the boss for her ward already told her she got the job like three days or a couple of days after so i don't know why mine is taking so long and I'm starting to think for the fact that I've not heard back it means I was not successful however that's not the case I was told I would get back either successful or not successful you will hear back no email or nothing so I'm hoping I hear back from them this week if not I probably just gonna put my mind off it accept the offer for the first one and then once my pain arrives I will apply to that same hospital because I must get into that hospital you guys don't understand why like my zeal for wanting to work in that hospital because it's a kind of working environment I see myself flourishing in and I must get in there so yeah I've changed my hair this week <laughs> I was just tired of wearing that short bob and again because it was giving me headache like slight headache every time I have it on it's got a clip at the back and all sorts so by the time I put it on it's kind of like giving me this drumming headache so I was like, nah, it's time to go. So this is one of my quality air weeks. I mean, weeks from um, RPG here, and I've had it for a very long time. I think I'm gonna have to trim it or something. So yeah, that's me. So I thought I should touch base with you before I head on my way. So it's currently 6:54, and I'll probably get some placement around quarter past seven, which is good. So I will touch base with you guys, and I'll update you as the week goes by. All right. Good morning, guys. So it's. Week eight, day two. Yeah, so I'm in three days this week. So, and it's Thursday today. So yeah, almost towards the end of the week. So it was my day off yesterday, Wednesday, and I was bored. I was bored to my bones. So I just kind of like was in the trial yesterday, and I made some banana chocolate, milk chocolate banana bread. I pop an image somewhere here that snack has kind of like been something my family loves right now like i would normally cook i would normally bake this and banana bread once every weekend now i'm having to make it twice a week so that's how good it is and that's how lovely my kids want it and then <clears throat> obviously as you all know i make my own um, cold processed soup the soup i use i make it i can't remember the last time i bought shower soap or a bath soap from the shop so i make my own soap so i was i kind of like i was trying new recipes yesterday so i made some with um, turmeric a pop an image here as well and i'm sure i think i have a video where i showed you guys um where i stack the soaps like in my storage so yeah because it takes six weeks to kind of like cure to get ready before you can use it so i make them in advance so we don't run out of soap so yeah you might be wondering what i've got in my head there I'm just trying to lay this closure like when I'm changing in dressing room I always feel as if by the time I take my top off <laughs> it might it might it might remove my wig so I'm just trying to lay it down with um with just a wig spray gel so yeah so I'm heading now it's currently 6 55 I think I came downstairs around 6 45 so I thought I would talk to you guys you know so yeah and I've seen no head back from the recruitment for this hospital like I don't know why they take forever I remember when I wanted to join the band too as well it took them ages even till now they've not gotten back to me even though I've been given a contract but 
they were asking for reference and uh, obviously you know, with COVID and everything it was taking forever to get referencing so they've not yet gotten back to me yet but I decided to join the um, GGC NHS GGC and that only took me like four weeks so all those extra shifts I've been going to do that's through um, GGC but I've been picking shift in this hospital through the GGC um, bank so that way I'm not missing out so yeah i'm still waiting on them and if i don't hear back by this week i'm just going to zero my mind about that job and hopefully look forward to my pain arriving and then i can apply as a fully qualified registered nurse so guys i'm going to head up now and i'll third base with you tomorrow to give you my highlight of the week hi everyone welcome back to my channel so it's week eight day four and it's currently um seven minutes past six o'clock in the evening so i finished um six o'clock and just took me about a few minutes to dress up so um that's the end of week eight there and this is end of week four, day four so if you've been following my um video from the beginning of the week you obviously know where i am and how my week has been so today has been an uneventful day which is great i'm happy about that so there's really not much on updates and i think my highlight for the week was um on on wednesday no was it no yesterday i was just waiting at the printer to pick up some paperwork and then some paperwork came in and then i recognized the name of the patient on the paperwork and that patient happens to be a patient i met two and a half years ago when i was on the transplant ward and this patient has like a cardiac issue and it was practically placed on an ECMO. So ECMO is like a treatment therapy that's been given like like that's been given to patients with um chronic um cardiac or lung issues and that's probably like the last thing they could do to continue to keep that patient alive till they're able to get a transplant so the highlight like the highlight was that when i saw that name i was like that name sounds familiar so while i was waiting and like wondering why we had that paperwork came out of our printer one of the anesthetists came in and we were like oh did something come out of the printer i'm like yeah and i said to him like oh this name sounds familiar that is he the patient that i, I know and we're like oh that's your right that's the patient he's just had his heart transplant today and i was like you know my eyes welled with tears like because at the status was saying to me that he's been on ecmo for a very long time like i can tell like i said that i've met him i met him like almost 20 years ago almost three years so i met him when i was on my second placement for first year and now i'm in my third year final placement so that like almost three years so when he told me that's him just had his transplant and i saw his bed being wheeled away earlier on like teams of multi like almost eight team members were like guiding his best way to go to the um to his place of recovery and when he told me that uh, that's him just had his transplant that though the heart is not 100 percent all right but with proper care with proper um observation and being him being looked after he will try he will do better you know when he said that to me my eyes just welled with tears and i was just like i'm glad for that patient i'm super super glad for him like I remember when I was on my placement there, I would always go to his room and you know, have a wee chat with him. You know, so just so that you know he was not on his own because you know at the height of COVID, no family members were allowed to visit and stuff like that. And I would go in there and keep him company. And, you know, thinking back, I was I'm just thankful to God for him that he was able to get that transplant done. So that's my highlight of the week number one. And my second highlight for the week was that you guys know my how i so desire to work in this hospital so i waited up until yesterday when i did not get a reply so it's been three weeks instead of two weeks that i was told i would hear back so one of my mentors that I was working with took me to meet the person who i mean somebody in charge of who actually interviewed me and i was able to say to them like no i was advised that i was going to work. so eventually i had an email today saying that my application has been received and it's been considered and i'm like um i was hoping to get a response <laughs> like a decision so however obviously my application is still in consideration so and i've been speaking to other members of staff and they were like it took them four months to start their job after they got interviewed so i'm just not going to dwell on it if i hear back from them fine if i don't hear back from them fine but like i said in the beginning of the week 
I already got a post in another hospital and my start date is for 3rd of October so I'm quite happy about that so those are my two um highlights for the week so I'm getting confident day by day and yeah I would like I said like I always say I couldn't have asked or I wouldn't have asked for a better placement I quite love this placement and yeah so here comes the end of week eight day four for me as you can tell I'm tired I just want to eat wash my face check that the kids are all right no issues and then jump into my bed and sleep so i've got the weekend off and i'm not back until tuesday so tuesday wednesday thursday friday so yeah and hopefully i'll be able to carry you on till i finish this placement so if you've not yet subscribed to my channel and you're finding the details or the information i share my channel helpful what are you waiting for so don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on that post notification so you remind you of anytime i upload the video and don't forget to share this video because UK government are in shortage of nurses. So if you share this video, you can never tell who you might be helping out there. And I hope to catch up with you guys later. Alright? Bye.